In this video, we'll explore Saturn's main band controls. Whether you're deploying Saturn as a single band plugin or applying varying levels and flavors of distortion to multiple bands, the concise, intuitive array of controls used to do it are the same. Complete band parameter setups can be saved and recalled as section presets through the band presets menu, although with multiband processing being largely context sensitive, these aren't always hugely useful. We've discussed the 16 core distortion style algorithms already, and that particular selection is made in the style menu. One of the great things about Saturn is that it allows you to mix styles up as you see fit between bands. Warm tube saturation for the low frequencies, crunchy amp in the mids and destroy at the top, for example. For most styles, the drive control dials in distortion by raising the input level into the clipping stage, and as it increases, the output is automatically attenuated to keep the signal under control. The collar around the drive knob balances the distortion between the left and right or mid and side channels for stereo effects. This makes for a particularly viable modulation target. The amount of signal looped back from each band's output to its input is set with the feedback knob, while the focal frequency of the feedback is determined by the freak dial. The further freak is raised, the higher the tone of feedback becomes, with the overall character largely determined by the choice of distortion style. High feedback level self oscillation can occur, which would result in an audible and noisy shrieking sound after the input signal has stopped, with the auto mute feedback feature not enabled by default. Should you want to make use of such noises, however, click the auto mute button in the bottom bar to unleash them. The dynamics knob controls an uneditable but effective compressor expander circuit. At the center position, it has no effect. Turn it anti-clockwise and expansion is introduced, effectively gating the signal and making it more punchy. Twisted clockwise from center on the other hand, it introduces compression. After the dynamic circuit, the last process in the chain is a four band EQ. The four bands are bass, a low shelf, mid, a bell shape, treble and presence, high and higher shelves, and although the only controls on offer are gain sliders for cutting and boosting each one, minus 24 to plus 24 dB, the tone section is certainly useful for broad strokes frequency shaping. The knobs at the left and right ends of the control array set the mix balance and output level of their host band respectively, the latter collared by a pan control ring. The ability to pan and parallel process every one of Saturn's six bands independently is awesome, of course, but when you just want to adjust the global output and mix levels, the right-hand end of the bottom control bar is the place to go. With drive being chief among the band controls, FabFilter have made it effortlessly accessible. Any of Saturn's knobs or sliders can be adjusted using the mouse wheel when the pointer is positioned over them, but when that pointer is located anywhere else in a band, scrolling the wheel moves the drive knob. Not only that, but holding down the command or control key while dragging a band's level slider up or down raises or lowers that band's drive rather than the level. 
This only works when you've got more than one band active though, since there is no level slider in single band mode. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.